This is a HeadGum Original. So is like not turning the AC on like part of the show? can't see Brad. <laughs> so yeah, we can't see Brad. Everybody, oh. everybody, let's get, into let's get it, it started and hot! Let's get it started. New studio! New studio paint color. It's no cola, it's no terracotta, but it is charcoal. It's black. Speaking of cola, I am having a, uh, an iced Coca-Cola. Is that iced Coca-Cola? It's not coffee? Well, I was going for a hot coffee. We didn't have any hot coffee, so I went for an iced Coca-Cola. You so know we have cold brew on unfinished draft. unfinished chips are here if you want okay. them. Okay. Thank you. Well, cold brew sometimes sends me a shiver through me timbers. It's the same as coffee. No, but the ice nature of it and the concentrated nature of it really makes me sort of get sent off on a wild goose chase of my own tail. Of your own design. I yeah. So I, I went for the Coca-Cola as a special little Friday treat. Yeah. I wonder if this becomes one of those shows where like the host talks for like five minutes and then the guest gets to say something. Because I feel like I'm already getting steamrolled by specifically Will. You asked one question, <laughs> two miles. He answered it. Okay. And now you're talking about getting steamrolled. By yeah. Will. Talk by Will. Will. By yeah. Who he hasn't talked. And... And, you know, we're changing, we're working on the new camera angles here in the studio. Sure. And right now what I have set up okay. has it. So when I talk to Jeff, <laughs> I can see just one eye looking at me. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> in between the camera. Yeah. <laughs> that's incredible. And um, I love that there's three professional grade studio cameras and then Jeff's still rocking the GoPro. GoPro, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No lighting on me, by the way. Because this is the only show where the producer really is kind of shown You constantly. choose to sit over there. Exactly yeah. right. Just so I don't have to edit the multicam session later. Uh, we've got Will Conover on the sax, Brad Hild on the fax, uh, Miles Bonsignore bringing up the rear and Casey Donahue for good measure. Sure. <laughs> Sounds a lot like popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be mixed high quality, so the audience isn't going to... It's just going to sound like applause, and then it's going to be you saying that. I know, but just the, the applause sounds a lot like... <laughs> <laughs> like popcorn popping. Can I play a song, a sound that's going to make you feel more comfortable, Miles? Is it going to be loud? Yeah. Is it going to be this? <laughs> so... That's a sound effect, yeah, that I use on my show, Perfect Person, that everyone can check out. We plug in stuff. That everyone can check out. It's a HeadGum show. It's a call and advice show, and I'd love if you would come on over and tune on in. <laughs> Jeff's turning off the cameras. What are you doing? It wasn't framed up exactly right. I didn't frame it up. <laughs> you have to stop moving the cameras uh, without unlocking the pan William and the tilt on Miller the tripod. is what you're trying to get at. Not just without unlocking. I'm moving the I William hate Miller. the one eye. It <laughs> really feels threatening now. It's like Mad Eye Moody. Talking away from the mic. Just turned uh, th uh, 360. Well, I can't see them <laughs> unless I turn around. around. <laughs> turned 180 degrees away from the microphone and then said something into the wall. <laughs> I wanted to get straight to Will's favorite segment, Bond of the Week. Let's start with Will. Who's going to be next Bond? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what it is? <laughs> you said you hated this segment. I just don't pay attention. How does it work? Mario? <laughs> oh, sure. Super Batali Mario? And Mario. Mario Batali? Yeah, Super Mario. No, Super Mario. Super Mario. <laughs> Super Mario. Mario Mario. All right. Mario, Mario. Nice. Uh, Brad? Luigi Mario. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Is that Luigi's first and last name to you? Yes. Mario Mario and his brother Luigi Mario. <laughs> that is right. Is that true? Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Bond. That is That's true. That's crazy. On the side. And then there's Wario Wario and Waluigi Wario. Who came up with this shit? I think Japan. I think Baby Bowser <laughs> would be a good 007. The country of Japan? Ooh. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Casey? <laughs> Bond of the week. My, my Bond of the week is Will Bondover. 
Because we'll con over and I will bond over. All right. Has this already been on, done on the show? Miles Bond Senor? We have. That's good. Done that. oh. I, did that. I like that a lot. Okay. Well, you didn't I'll, like it when I said it. You didn't I back it me. up. I think that's great. You will you do back it up. I saw yeah. you in the club the other day. Thank you So for noticing. Um, <laughs> how's everybody feeling today? I feel like everybody's on different wavelengths. Feeling good. Yeah. Uh, got some editing done got on a, a YouTube. car accident yesterday. I did get into a car accident yesterday, but I'm okay, thankfully. Oh my god! It was crazy. Um, it was right before the Headgum Mario Kart live stream, <laughs> and you still <laughs> made it. And I gunned it to the studio, <laughs> and I said he was hit with a blue shell. <laughs> I, <was. laughs> I got hit from behind by Baby Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> no, a guy p- peeled out in front of me. Came out, fucker came out of nowhere. <laughs> it sounds a lot like I wasn't paying attention, but the guy peeled across several lanes of traffic in front of me, and I hit his back like corner of his car because he was trying to like m- get ahead of me and make this turn. And then um, I was like, "Fuck!" I, and I stopped, turned on my hazards, got out of the car to be like, "Let's check on this guy, make sure he's okay, and also see if his car's okay." Mm-hmm. I hit him. And then he just kept driving. Okay, and I think and we that should he was, say that when you showed up to the studio, you said, I got hit by a car. Uh, well, it was a hit and run, but I hit him and he ran. <laughs> 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 because I think he was either drunk or didn't have a license. Or, or you were brandishing a gun. I or... did not have anything like that. <laughs> you didn't have, you, you didn't I had have my any... pro Nintendo Switch controller, though. Okay. Which he might have been intimidated by. Sure. I was and holding it. How were you brandishing it? Yeah. <laughs> I was holding it like a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Souring the mood with that. With the sound effect? <laughs> I just I'm feel applauding like, your story. Here's what happened. Everyone laughed and they went, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. And right at the, uh, what's the opposite of apex? At the down tail end. At the tail end <laughs> of the laughing, you played the sound effects, which meant that we sat in silence. Yeah, instead of what's continuing. <laughs> instead of continuing the conversation, the yeah. flow of the show, right. you, uh, Jeff chose to just stop completely it. stop it. Obliterate we'll it. Stop, yeah. yeah. Will? <laughs> How am I feeling today? Yes. <laughs> it looks like you've got the HD on on Zoom. You're looking great. Do I look good? I think your camera looks good. Yeah, nice. You always look good, Will. You're That's a handsome great. boy. Um, I'm doing good today. It's Friday. It's weekend. Come on, guys. Who's ready for the weekend, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Everybody. Yeah. And it's Friday. <laughs> this release is on a Friday, right? It's a Friday Correct. release. So it's a Friday when so people the are listening. at home. Oh, oh my oh, god. Happy it's Friday. The weekend. Everybody, yeah. Merry holiday. <laughs> um, this one's sort of a free practice. Sure, yeah. So this one might not yeah. go out. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, good to know while we're doing it. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Useful, you know, our time is yeah. valuable in that way. Do you have plans this weekend, Will? Why are you excited? Uh, no major plans. I might try and see poor things. But is that a movie, or are you just going to go stare theater. at damned souls on the street? Yeah. Damned souls. No, it's a movie. Emma Stone. What the hell was it's that? a movie. <laughs> it looks good. Heard of her? I like her. I like her. <laughs> I like her, too. Do you guys like this her? This is okay. the show. Is how are, you, <laughs> what are you doing this weekend? Yeah, like, this no, is... Well... well Jeff 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 has weird energy right now. He's like he'll ask a question and then quietly like fold within himself. Yeah, it's really inappropriate. We, inappropriate. We can't. <laughs> Brad and I can't see Jeff, and we can't hear the sound effects. Yeah, we're, we're hearing the most everything fun I've ever had on the yeah. show. It's the best experience. You can barely hear. Also. You can barely hear us. Oh man! I mean, Jeff was like every time I've done the show, Jeff is in a full blown panic. When I walk into the studio trying to get the tech to work, and then he finally does, and he's his mood hasn't lifted from that panic. Well, again, I resent the fact that it's always pinned on me that the tech doesn't work. We're in the middle of building out another studio. Well, the tech works perfectly. I think everyone's done a really good job except for you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, do me a favor and hit the uh, the the whoa the no. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the uh, no. You see the the microphone on the zoom with the the arrow pointed up. Yep. I want to see if I could if we're giving them the right audio. Okay, we are. You're definitely not. We're giving you the right audio, but uh, uh, my best guess is Jeff like turned the volume down on the mic. 
turned the volume down on the mic. We don't have to keep doing this. We have to make sure the levels <laughs> don't peak. This is all going in, right? <laughs> this is all staying. This all is all good staying? content. Yeah. Okay. Brad, what are you excited for for the weekend? How do you feel right Pass. now? Pass. <laughs> 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 <Woo! There. laughs> Round of applause for that. <laughs> it was awesome. Brad, I got to say your hat and uh, jacket combo is really cool. I like the cream tone. Thanks. Thanks, is that Miles. better? Is that better? I'm in a creamy mood today. I really like what it. What does that mean? I got in trouble for saying that last night on the live stream. You, you did? You said I said I was going to cream everybody. <laughs> You said That's you not what I said. You it's said you were going to cream their asses. It, no. I said I was going to cream <laughs> Rochelle's ass. Uh, yeah, right. That, exactly. that she was going to go yeah, down, and I do regret that. That's where you went you wrong. You're not allowed to I say I meant that. nothing yeah. by can't it. can't say that. You but I regret it that. instantly. Absolutely can't say that. You need to mean what you say. And say what I do mean to say. Don't look at me through the one eye. There's Mad Eye Moody, and then there's Sad Eye Jeff. Casey, what are you looking forward to? This weekend? How do you feel right now, I said. Oh. How do I, how am I, lo- what am I looking forward to how I feel right now? So. <laughs> uh, I feel, I feel pretty good. It's Friday after all. Um, I have no plans this weekend. And I kind of like that. I kind of like going into a weekend with nothing on the docket. And uh, I could do whatever I want, really. That's freeing. Miles is on his phone. Sorry, I had an important call. <laughs> 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 How'd it go? It was re- it was really good. <laughs> Are you a millennial who misses what life was like in the 2000s, right? Have you had a hard time finding newer curated music? Are you interested in multiple perspectives on relationships, dating, and music? then you're going to love See The Thing Is, a podcast hosted by Grammy Award-winning R&B artist Bridget Kelly and media personality and podcast trailblazer Mandy B. Twice a week, Bridget and Mandy have nostalgic conversations in their grown segments, political pop culture conversations in their honest segments, and relationship hot take conversations in the slightly toxic segment. The opinions on the show are real and brought to you by the genuine connections that the ladies have with their guests, who they like to call their friends with benefits. Each week you'll leave with some new music recommendations or a curated playlist that you didn't even know you needed in their freshly squeezed music segment. Most recently, the ladies have sat down with Remy Ma, Mooney Long, and Chloe Bailey. So you're not going to waste this guesting action. You're not going to want to miss this guesting action. Follow and subscribe to See The Thing Is on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or on YouTube. New audio episodes drop every Tuesday and Friday, and visuals are available every Wednesday and and Saturday on YouTube. Check it out. Holy shit. <laughs> and we're back. Oh I think that's God. a lawsuit. I think that you might be a lawsuit. You now we can hear. Oh my God. Now we can hear. Julia <laughs> Roberts God, dished on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. She said that the hardest drug she's ever tried was... Take a guess. Weed. Shrooms. It's got DNA. Shrooms. Let's really? go. Yes. It was shrooms? It was mushrooms. It was psilocybin Everybody. Mushroom. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> this gets started. <laughs> um, what's was it the hardest? set of the pelican brief? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to figure this shit out, guys. It's hard when I have Will gone over on the show. And again, it's I can't see him either. So again, it feels like he's right behind me, right oh, here over wow. my shoulder, just being like, was it on the set of Pelican Brief? Well, I have a There's cl- no reason why you can't. You have a, the monitor right in front of you yeah, where you, can you should see. be I able to see. I want y'all to be able to see them. You can duplicate the monitor. If I duplicate and mirror them, then I then you guys see me pressing the fucking sounds. I want it to be a surprise. Um, I have a clip I'd like to set up. This is... I really am not sure about the clip you're going <laughs> to <laughs> This is a conversation with myself post-shower from the Jeffrey James Vimeo. <laughs> How do you find this shit, man? Now, this is, it looks like Jeffrey's younger. This is from seven years ago. This wow. was a an assignment for film school. This yeah. is an assignment for film school, and yep. I just want to tee up the clip. Jeff, do you want to say anything about the clip before we play it? Just that I'm already embarrassed that this is about to be played. Do you want me to play it on that? Yeah, I would love if you could play it for everybody. 
I mean, I don't want to play it for anybody, but just clip. because you went through the effort of finding it. Well, every I'll time I join service. the show, I like to bring a little bit of a segment of my own. You like to embarrass me publicly and physically. <laughs> At Jeff's expense. <laughs> And I think sometimes Jess forgets that everything is Googleable. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, of course, I brought a very intimate emotional interview with sure. Jeff. Yeah. Um, where he said that he plays comedy like a guitar. <laughs> like a glove, I like said. Like a glove. I wear it like a <laughs> guitar and I play it like a glove. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this clip. And uh, everyone, please check out Jeffrey James's Vimeo for a conversation with myself post-shower. And Jeff. the good thing is that everything will be scrubbed by the time the episode comes out. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Conversation with myself post-shower. Ah. Can't hear. Yeah, can't hear anything. Well, thanks so much for... We won't be able to For hear. sitting down... And this is just Jeffrey. And I can see that he's got some uh, wine yeah. bottles in his, in his college dorm in yeah. the back there. <laughs> Is that, what yeah. is that? Is that sweet vermouth, Jeff? This says Samsung the frame. Why, like, this, is, how is it my fault that it's not playing out Jesus. of this? I did everything Jesus. correctly. Like, like, with me and I guess, like, you, uh, my question is, what, me. you're over 100 episodes uh, into the show, right? Almost on, 200, so yeah. It's an honor. Uh, oh. This used to be my favorite podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is so <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ah. Uh. Well, thanks so much for sitting down to talk with me for an interview, uh, showered me. Uh, I know you got a lot going on, so it's an honor. Uh, a, a privilege, rather. Uh, sure. Uh, no problem, uh, pre-showered Jeff. Uh, but let's just make this as quick as possible. I actually have an appointment. Can, can you pause? Uh, yeah, let's just, let's, let's just pause no for a second. Do. Mm -hmm. I just want to know what the mood was like in the class when you showed this. Utter silence, of course. <laughs> it was kind of akin to the, <laughs> the studio of today. Um, yeah. like, I don't remember what the assignment was. I do know that I didn't follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> no. The assignment was document a, a pretty picture outside or something. <laughs> and you made a sketch. Film a flower. And yeah. This is what I screamed. <laughs> no. I'm afraid that this is going to take an inappropriate amount of time. What? Look, I only agreed to this because I thought. So that, let's get uh, right into it, shall we? Fine. So, tell me. Did this happen again? Yeah. There's another note. Jeff, I got to know. Yeah. yeah, it's not even fun yeah. to watch in this forum. It's actually just yeah. I can Well, I in can imagine form? what forum it would be fun to yeah. watch. <laughs> in, in a yeah. fucking, to get a fucking B plus in the class. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, um, my, my note um, is a performance note. Yeah. Which is? Uh, I think you've gotten better. I think in so seven too. years. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Like I, could years, see, I would hope so. I can see the seeds of Jeff the performer in here. But yeah. it's not, it's not quite. It's not there, there. Blossoming. Tell you what. Jeff? Yep. About the shower. No, 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 no. D don't just say about the shower. L like, it's a no-brainer. <sighs> Look, now I'm just blowing smoke, so I will just... We can't keep doing this. Is this a rough cut, or this was this the is final? This final yeah. Yeah. This was before I did my editing practicum. This was before I learned that yeah. you're supposed to edit around the emotional apex of the scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. I, that's uh, that's all you need. You that's, all I need. <laughs> that's all I need. That's all I needed. I got an A in that class wow. actually. It makes sense. It wasn't hard. It was USC. film school. <laughs> yeah. USC just yeah. giving degrees away for. Do you want to see free. how it ends? Do you want to see what? The, the whole thing ends uh, with me asking myself if I question. masturbated Please. in the shower. <sighs> anyway. Um, well, that that really made me want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have to take another break. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> But we didn't, what, we didn't, uh, I guess we're <laughs> Guys, taking care of your health isn't always easy, but it should be at least, if nothing else, simple. And that's why for the last two and a half, almost three years, I've been drinking AG1 every single day, no exceptions. It's just one scoop mixed in water once a day. And it makes me feel way more energized, less brain foggy, and just ready to take on the day. It's one thing that I do every morning that gets the day started off right. I wake up, I have a glass of water, I have my AG1, and then I have some coffee and if I do those three things in that sequence, I at least have done one thing right that day and that pays dividends over time. That's uh, whatever the opposite of diminishing returns is. Gains.
Uh, each serving of AG1 delivers a daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics and more. And it's a powerful, healthy habit. That's also powerfully simple. You don't have to figure out what vitamins you want to take. You can just get it all in one nutritional insurance. And that's why I love it. Instead of 12, 40 different pills and supplements to look out for my health, I have AG1 and I get it in one delicious kind of tropical fruit tasting drink. Uh, now, how do you know for sure that AG1 is a high quality product? Well, I know based on how I feel and also that every batch of AG1 goes through rigorous testing processes more than one process, so you know it's safe. And their ingredients are sourced for absorption, potency, and nutrient density, which is very important. You, you don't wanna just get any multivitamin. You wanna make sure that it's coming from high quality sources, and that's what you're getting with AG1. So if there's one product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1. And that's why we've partnered for, with them for so long, so many years. So if you wanna take ownership over your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash what's that? Again, that's drinkag1.com slash what's that? Check it out. Public. Uh, that'll be cut out, but I will keep in that I, I docked something you didn't want me to say. Um, I mean, here we are yet again. Uh, I guess we should head into our first segment, right? You didn't even ask Brad and Will what they thought about the video. Yeah. What did you guys, th You we're all chiming in. It felt like they didn't have anything to say, which no, is worse just than not having commentary. Because they're, they're behind, behind you. me, man. Well, they have it was a, a great shirt. You gotta, you gotta check out Jeff's shirt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and it was yeah. a magician-like reveal of while we were all watching the video, you were... <laughs> You were understanding where our eyes were. <laughs> so really, I did chime in on the video. Yeah, <laughs> really. This is actually merch uh, we're working what? on for the, oh, that's the, awesome. the Hill Kings podcast. <laughs> yeah, sold it's on the back right Hill there. Kings podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. There. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, really. Good. Thanks. Yeah, tune in. <laughs> oh, that um, sucks. I'll buy one. <laughs> My dad certainly will. Oh, wow. Jesus. So, a third break. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Ten never seconds. Before, you don't, don't have that many ads. <laughs> it's going to be bars and tone <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'll sell an ad. Oh, that's, uh, that is an assault. That is an ear. New like, name alert. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Call me Damien Sounder. Who? Damien is the first name. The last name is Sounder. Okay. Sounder? He's... I hardly know her. Come on. That's really Come good. Come on. I like that. Thanks. Stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that this grin, so man? Fucked up. You're like looking at me like, what do you want from me? <laughs> it's typing. He's typing on his computer now. He's embarrassed, I guess. <laughs> He's pulling something up. What are you pulling up? Welcome to <laughs> Casey. Do you want to say the name of the game? I'm okay. I'll guess. You know exactly what it is. Let's hear it. So long and loud. It's either the price is kite <laughs> or the kite <laughs> is <It's> rice. rice. <laughs> is the, the price is rice. The kite is rice. The kite is rice. It. Welcome to the kite is right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, you should have. It was a great opportunity to do a rice thing. Yeah. 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 Could have been really good. Um, I don't think it would have been. I think <laughs> if I had done that, you guys would have been like had different complaints. <laughs> this is the price of kites. <laughs> Uh, the price of kites? <laughs> I thought it was the kite as price. It doesn't fucking matter! <laughs> We're banking episodes, man! The price is God. kites. 
This is the price of kites. <laughs> <laughs> it's the price is right of kites. So basically, we're going to all okay. put in our guess, price yeah. is right rules. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, for how much we think these kites cost. Closest without going over, right? Yeah. Closest without going over, exactly right. Uh, let's, Brad, Will, do you guys think you know the market price of kites? A hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen you more confident than anything. Other than that, I suck. <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm slightly less sure, but I'm willing to give it a go. Will is the optimist that we all need on this show. Yeah, he I might love need it. to be more of sorry. I wasn't anywhere close to done. <laughs> Why not? Will is the optimist that the show didn't beg for, but needed like uh my eyes need radioactive frequency therapy. Yeah. I got my eyes zapped by a rod last Friday. LASIK? Worse. A cattle prod? More of like a cattle prod just underneath the eyes. Why? Basically, it's a way to stimulate the collagen underneath your eyelids uh, to kind of regenerate dead uh, tear glands. So... You know, topical anesthetic jelly that wears off after a couple seconds, so it works for a while. It feels like a nice eye massage. Zap! Your your ass is out of the chair. You're wondering why they didn't warn you that it was going to be painful. Why did you? Do you don't have tear glands? I'm losing my lipid glands. So what does that mean? Like, is that the price is kite? What do we all think this kite? You can't is reveal priced? compromising medical information. <laughs> And then try to yeah. pivot into a segment. You guys weaseled your way into a HIPAA, HIPAA violation I of get, my ass. <laughs> I don't appreciate it, so let's get into the game show. Okay. <laughs> All right. This kite is twelve ninety nine. Is that the kite? That's that's the kite that we're guessing first. There's a lot of other ones for the game. Twelve ninety nine. Why is it so small? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 12, okay, Casey's guess is twelve ninety nine. Miles. <laughs> Come on! Four, Fourteen. Fourteen? <laughs> wow! Okay. Brad? Uh, it's a twenty-four ninety-nine dollar right. kite. Will? Nine ninety-nine. <laughs> Will nailed it. <laughs> what the fuck? Gone over. Are you reverse image searching, man? <laughs> I wish. I wish I could see the image that clearly. That's <laughs> insane. I don't think it's that insane. I think nine ninety nine yeah, makes standard. sense for like a kite. Standard yeah. price. What's yeah. that? Um, I think that's crazy. <laughs> Will is winning with nine ninety nine. Not that. Can you get that many points. Well, isn't that the thing? It's like you get the price of the item in cash on the game. I feel like I get the item. <laughs> Right? No, That's I think it isn't it, works, it just so. to move on to the next round. Just move on, like and at has, the end you do all the. So cash. Will's yeah. the only one who moves on. <laughs> yeah, now he's got to <laughs> yeah. go play like. Now it's go. Now it's you versus Will. <laughs> Let's just all move on. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, here we go. The uh, from this segment. <laughs> yep. A really good segment, man. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh shit! You got to oh, do at least. Riley, two here we go. <laughs> this is a, a kite surfing kite. So oh, a little bit of context there. What do we think this is priced at? It's hard to tell the size of this. Is this t meant to carry a human in the air? Uh, it's meant to keep someone surfing at their will. Okay. okay. $279. Okay. Why are you mad at that? Ooh. You're out of the game. <laughs> oh you're out of the game no, for the no, album. No, if you sure. guess what? that far <laughs> off, you're out of the game. <laughs> no Casey, way. Wow. I'm sorry. Go, go wait in the kitchen, Miles. I'm going to go wait in the wait, kitchen. So <laughs> if you're far <laughs> off. Thank you so much, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> no one else does. Well, if anyone else has that bad of a guess, maybe. But I think they're all in line. So, but if I guess badly, I get to get out of the game? <laughs> yeah. This well, is a million dollar kite. <laughs> Billion dollar kite. Yeah, that's that's pretty wrong. So actually, I think All Miles right. is back in because Casey's was so off that what? yours is contextual. Well, we're grading on a sliding scale. Well, now. I figured action sports kites got to be pricey so they know they're made of. Yeah. <laughs> There's never been more of a dud. There's never been more of a dud. We're moving on. There was. There was a lot more of Wait, these. I didn't get to guess. There was I didn't get to guess. More. <laughs> oh my God. I wanted to guess. <laughs> he the just went show. through a whole that bunch looked, of guess. That looked like a, like a prison <laughs> design. 
Why is one forty speed coil? I knew that one. He got too nervous. He got spooked for the segments. People with the wrong guesses. Um, we have to move on because the next segment's gonna take a while. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not it. By the way, that's not what the guests want to hear. They don't want to hear the segment's no. gonna be really long. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys familiar with the 36 questions that lead to love? New York yes. Times, yeah. really? Yeah. Shit. Really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've done them on a couple different podcasts about them. Okay. Well, I sort of created my own. And uh <laughs> I wondered if we could get uh two volunteers. I mean, I'll do it. I'll Brad? Do, yeah, I'll do it. Brad and Miles sure. or Brad and Will? Is it only two of us get to answer? Yeah, can Casey and I go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just pair. Let's pair up then. Let's pair up. Uh, Miles and Brad, Great. Will and Casey. Great. Uh, here we go. First cool. question. Uh, and again, these are the thirty-six questions that lead to love. Jeff edition. Yeah. Uh, number one. I'm sorry. How are we teams? <laughs> Not so much teams. More like partner up. Because like the the are question. Are we two fall in love at the end of it? Got it. In a way, at the very least. That's so cool. Miles and yeah. I are. Collectively trying to fall in love with Casey and Will as like a <laughs> those are the two. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I, I do or like Casey and I trying to fall in love quicker or harder. It's, yeah, like than a Miles and Brad. competitive. I think let's make it competitive. This is basically the semifinals, right? So it's going to yeah. be Miles and Brad, and then whoever falls in love the hardest between the Gets two of you moves move on, on to face the winner of, of I like that Will versus Cassie. Quick. So Casey. they have a buy round. <laughs> What's that? It's Casey. Yeah. It's Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> the 36 Jeffsons. What's that? The, the, yeah, the 36 <laughs> Jeffsons. That's Jeff really good. Okay, here we go. One. Uh, well, okay, let's start. It's got to be rapid fire, because guys, because we're already fucking, what, 20 minutes into this shit? Are there 36? There are 36. Oh, my God. There are Jesus. 36, but there's a catch after the 24th, so we'll see how you guys answer that. And that might decide this. That might decide the winner of the fucking championship. So the first round, let's go one by one. So this is going to be Miles and Brad. Number one, ask each other this question. Uh, actually, you know what? You're asking the question, though. Uh, don't tell me to ask the question. I don't know what the question is. Okay, wait. You know what? That's a good question. Or that's a good point. I'm sending the first set to Miles uh, over text, and Miles will ask Brad okay. to. Uh, uh, and yeah, okay. So here we okay, go. Here we go. Miles, you ready? Yeah. It just went through. Oh, it just, it just went, through, went through. So I don't have it yet. So there you go. It's not in my phone. There ready? we go. Okay. I don't know where my phone is, so you can't do this All right. for me. Okay. Well. Number one, given the choice of any time in the world, when would you want someone as a dinner guest? <laughs> when would I want someone as a dinner guest? you repeat the question? Guest? That was too fast. Okay. Given the choice of any time in the world, when would you want someone as a dinner guest? <laughs> dinner time. <laughs> That's really good. By the way, I'll be the judge of who's falling in love the hardest. I think it's Brad 7 p.m. Is, it. is good, yeah. I'm going to give that one to Brad. That's one to Brad. I asked the question. Right, but you, he but asked Brad it back to fell you. more in love with you oh, than you fell yeah. in love with Are them. you yeah. not getting this? What about this is confusing? Number two, <laughs> would you like to be infamous? In what way not? You're just taking the 36 questions <laughs> and changing them a little bit. But Barely. no, is it the is, it's the 36 no. questions. I didn't say it was going to be drastically different. I said it was Jeff edition. Jeff okay, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I, we don't want to be inf well, infamous is what? The opposite of famous? That's like being famous for something it's bad. Like more than. No, it's not. <laughs> Jesse James was infamous. Well, he was a criminal. Yeah, so that right. is bad. there's a negative connotation for sure. I don't th I don't think I want to be infamous. No. Okay. And um, yeah. In answer. what ways would you not want to be infamous though? Uh, for I don't want to be famous for beating the shit out of someone. Okay. Committing a crime. Do you ever beat the shit out of someone? Well, I don't want to be famous for it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to beat the shit out of people. I don't want anyone to. No, know. that sounds so scary to me. To be honest, I have never beat the shit out of anybody. Yeah. All right, Brad. I. Have I ever beaten the shit out of anybody? <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad as a second question. Yeah. Let's have you answer that. I have, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> or I'm going to. <laughs> Next time I'm in LA. Awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to give that to Miles because okay. Brad's was violent. <laughs> um... This is it. Sorry. So I just continue asking the questions. Correct. You okay. have the fucking list. And no. then, sorry, is, what are, are you going to make me and Will do all <laughs> Absolutely, of the questions? Let's yeah. Pick up the pace, man. <laughs> this is great. Why don't we just all answer at the same time? Would that be better? 
<laughs> You're running really the show. Good idea. All right, let's do it all at once. Let's have Bre- Will and Casey catch up. Okay, let's ask I them. don't remember the first all question. Right. So pass. Given the choice of any time in the world, when, you, when would you want someone as a dinner guest? Oh, uh, uh, dinner time. All right. Well, kind of steal that. Copied, copied my answer. Copy. So Wait, well, Valentine's Day. Copy. Valentine's Day. I'm gonna give that yeah. one to Will because yeah. it's not plagiarized. And would you like to be infamous? In what way not? Slash, have you ever beaten the shit out of anybody? Yeah. I would not like to be infamous. Uh, in- infamous. <laughs> infamous? <laughs> what's that? Is that? Is, is... <laughs> That's me saying what's that. Oh, I like that. I, uh, and I, now I just got another do. one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you do? Number All right. three is... <laughs> before... No, Will didn't answer. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, I want to be uh, loved. That one's going to Will just because of the specificity and how fast he said it with the conviction. All right. Before, before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you aren't going to say? <laughs> Who? <laughs> uh, they're literally just changing one word. <laughs> <laughs> Every question. Uh, no, I rehearse what I am going to say. And <laughs> yeah. I guess who... <laughs> Uh, me. <laughs> yeah. That's a good answer. <laughs> me. <laughs> Miles? Uh, no. Okay, I'm gonna give that to Brad for specificity. Okay. Will, Casey? Uh, I do think sometimes I do rehearse what I'm not gonna say. Like, I do <laughs> think about, like, yeah. how, how am I gonna start this call? Good yeah. day. No. <laughs> I should mm-hmm. go with good morning. For sure. Will? Um, and who? Uh, the bank. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, I agree with Casey. I think sometimes I Casey, make a list. Then. Giving it to Casey. Moving yeah. on to four. And who? Casey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? No, I'll give it to Casey. Right? So. All right. <laughs> Number four. All right. So we're three questions in. Four. To 36. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it is nine minutes until my weekend. Let's, yeah. let's, let's fasten it up. All right. What would constitute a fine day for you? Brad? I, I guess a little bit of exercise and hanging out with friends, listening to music or playing music, maybe getting some dinner, maybe going to a brewery, maybe ordering some pizza, playing with my dogs a little bit. Maybe we go climbing in the Ooh. morning. Maybe I go on a run. Oh, yeah. Maybe I, maybe I have a little like a chat great with Woo! a chat with Will. Sure. Maybe I chat with my boy. That's you awesome. Know? I would love that. Maybe we catch up. We see what's going on in New York mm-hmm. City. We see how he's been. We see what he's been up to. What has he been watching recently? I know that he's planning on going to maybe see a movie this weekend. Yeah. Maybe we talk about how the movie was. Maybe we talk about Emma Stone, our favorite Emma Stone films. Yeah. Have you been watching the rehearsal <laughs> on Showtime Pretty with Nathan Fielder? I'd like the, to know. The, the, it the, is. Curse, the curse. The curse. The curse. Sorry, the curse. The curse. See, okay. that would come up in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what would make it fine, really. It's that little <laughs> faux pas. It's a little bit of a moment between yeah. friends where you, you're not afraid to correct each other because you're close yeah. like that, you know? You've kind of got that rapport. Yeah. That is a fine day. And yeah. then maybe, I don't know, I'd Get laid. (laughs) (laughs) Miles, I don't think you should even try for this one. That one's going to Brad. Honestly, I was going to say getting laid. All right. Miles, (laughs) sorry, Will Casey? Uh, Getting laid. All right. Plagiarism. Will, what do you got? Parking tickets. There you go. All right, that one's going to Will. First of all, the score is Brad has got three points. getting laid. (laughs) Yeah. Everybody, what's that? Uh, <laughs> okay, so far this is the tally. Uh, Brad is uh, in first of his challenge. <laughs> oh my god! And Will is winning his battle of love. I leave the show with such a headache. <laughs> Number five. Let's hear it. We gotta make this faster, guys. Wait, wait. <laughs> We got to quicken the pace. I'm you sorry. Can't say that. Why, how long was the prices kite going to take? It yeah, was right. going to be 15 minutes. <laughs> this all took too long. Prices kite, we answered two kites and you sped it's through the rest of them. Kites. <laughs> well, okay, when did you last <laughs> sing passive aggressively to someone else? Uh, <laughs> last weekend, band practice. <laughs> oh, wow. you, they, you were like, oh, you want to play? Are you singing a different key? And then well, you did. it was like they were kind of 
uh, stalling a little bit, and I was ready to rehearse, you Hell know. Yeah. And I was like, "Come on, God!" <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, I like wow. that. I like that. Speed it up. Hey, you let's know? go, Miles. Yeah. What do you got? Can't beat that. Uh, no, definitely can't beat that, Jeff. But I'm gonna put myself <laughs> in the running. Uh, sometimes I sing to my baby in a passive aggressive manner, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Julian, don't grab that." not for you <laughs> hey really good jewels. jewels don't grab <laughs> that <laughs> take a <laughs> knife from oh, the, the kitchen, kitchen counter, or remember <laughs> to not take knives from a drawer, drawer. leave Bad them jewels. in there, there. Inside of the drawer. Susan, lazy Susan, lazy Susan. Let's go into Miles. I'm sorry, Brad. <laughs> yes. Will and Casey, what do you got? I forgot the question. Moving on to five. You guys both forfeit that round. No, moving on to six. <laughs> six. If you were able to live in the age of 90, <laughs> live to the age of 90, <laughs> and retain, retain either the mind or body of a 30-year-old woman for the last 60 years of <laughs> your life, why wouldn't you want that, sexist? <laughs> this is like ma so much math. <laughs> if you were able to you live to the age of 90, 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30 year old woman for the last 60 years of your life why wouldn't you want that sexist I think I would want that I would want that but I would want it to be in a world where equality has truly been achieved yeah. which is what I'm constantly striving for as a feminist I wouldn't want it till everyone can get married I don't it's understand like I the situation so it's mind like, and body of a woman right sure. Uh, mind I'm, or I'm, body. My, oh, mind or body. Yeah. So does that mean I'm living for like 30 years in my body, my mind, and now I have a different bi mind, different body? <laughs> exactly right. And like, like an, um, I'm just another person entirely. You're still you, Freaky Friday, yeah. Yeah. You're, well, maybe you would so be. So I have it. my mind. You have hive mind. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that one's gonna go to Will just because of what Casey's doing right now. No, I was trying Not to understand interested. what you he was what asking. It meant. Yeah, Will doesn't right, want that's it. Fair, that's Will fair, doesn't want the round. Don't. <laughs> Not <laughs> thank you. No. Not yeah, Will doesn't want the point. Um, okay. I can take or leave it. I'll take it. I'll, I'm gonna give it to Brad. Give it to Brad. Uh, give it to Brad. It's my right. point to give. Um, that's so fucked up. Okay, here we go. Seven. <laughs> Do you have a secret drunch about how you will die? What's the, what and the original question changing, was hunch. Changing the word hunch to drunch. drunch. Really? I guess my guess um, is drunch is a dreadful hunch. Yeah, I like that. A dreaded hunch. Drunk yeah. hunch. It's drunk when you get hunch. drunk, you have existential dread about a hunch. Well, Jeff, do that. you have a drunch about how you'll die? I think I'm going to be sta physically stabbed in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Casey loved that. I wish that didn't elicit so much joy from everyone in the room. It won't be me, room. but but oh, it'll happen. I'll go like, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. <sighs> they'll stab you in the back from the front. They need rehab for personalities <laughs> for me. <laughs> like you feel a like 12 step program to be a better guy. Yeah, your personality's caustic and you would like to change it. Exactly right. Nails on a chalkboard need... man. You need to be taken out of society, placed in some, you know, nice house in, you know, Malibu or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that, actually. Just to, like, better myself on a bluff. Mm -hmm. That does sound nice, by the way. It's sort of the grad school promise. Yeah. <laughs> you get to sort of escape from society and learn. Do you guys have a drunch about how you're going to die? Backflip off a motocross. That's awesome. I got to give it to Miles. Will, <laughs> Casey, what do you got? Come on. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm always I've always hoped it'd be natural causes uh and like old age, but mm. uh I I've also thought that if I was to like start losing my mind, I can't remember uh, you know, family members, that sort of thing, uh, I would uh probably drive into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> That's pretty good. Will, what do you got? <laughs> of boredom on this show. I'm gonna give it to Casey because that hurt my feelings. Uh here we go. Eight. Assume three things you and your partner don't Eight? Agree. We're not even in double digits it's yet. It's not my fault. You guys are dragging your goddamn feet. <laughs> okay. Eight, Miles? All right. Eight is going to be... Hang on. Sorry. I was bored, so I started playing Angry Birds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, number eight is assume three things you and your partner don't agree on. Miles, let's start with you. Assume three things we don't agree on. Correct. Well, I leave the cabinet doors open. Okay. She doesn't care for that. No, not you and your partner, you and Brad. Oh, Brad, what do you think that we don't agree on? Because I see that you've got uh, a really cool um, tube television in the back that takes VCRs, and I'm thinking that that's really nice. Yeah, we definitely agree on that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What's your stance on uh, just kind of the entire state of the economy? It's pretty bad, right? Yeah, I agree there. Yeah. Well, what about uh, the monarchy? Gonna... How do you feel about the British royalty? <laughs> I don't care about that at all. And I yeah, think it yeah. sucks. It's, no, it's yeah. not talk to the, this person yeah. about it. It's just Me state either. three things you think that they disagree with you on. So yeah. I, I was going to do Casey. Right? Do you like Tom like, Cruise? Because I think he's we'll I like Tom Cruise. I do too. This was a <laughs> dummy episode. <laughs> Miles, we actually have a lot in common. We have a lot in common. I think okay, we should. Either of you guys are getting a we point for this round. Yeah. We Will and Casey. Sometimes. Will and yeah. Casey. Three things you. Casey, name three things you think Birkenstock that Will doesn't That's agree right. with you on. Dude, I have those same ones. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. I'm loving it. I, I think yeah. they should keep going. They're they're really hitting it all. Yeah. Let's yeah. move on to number nine. For, the, the whole thing was we were supposed to fall in love. Number nine. For what the in questions your life and then you... it leads to love organically. <laughs> For what in your life do you feel the least grateful? <laughs> what a horrible question <laughs> from a pissy guy. <laughs> I'm least grateful for what? That's the question. Being <sighs> alive. Yeah. Damn. Will? Uh, the sidewalk. <laughs> is that because you just take it for granted or you actually think it's exactly. necessary? got it that is well, I just feel like it should be there so I'm not going to worry about it mm. <laughs> well what do you do if you're walking down the street and the sidewalk ends but you still got to keep going how do you feel we keep asking these side the sidewalk questions ends. I think that was a really good question uh, and uh, on topic it was, it was Shell Silverstein style yeah I think I explore because then that? I have the whole world open uh, Miles, what do you got? Okay. Um, I think I feel the least grateful for like pissy, shitty people that exist in my, <laughs> you know, in my world. Yeah. Me I don't too. feel grateful for people I that get suck. That. Yeah. I get that for sure. Yeah. So, Brad? Uh, probably least grateful for shitty and pissy people. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Me too. I agree with you guys. <laughs> I hate those yeah. kinds of people. No, wow. you're not in on this for sure. Uh, do you want to do 10? Yep. <laughs> I don't like how this has become me. Like, why am I reading the questions? You want to hand it to Casey? I don't know where my phone is. I Fine, can't read I'll the questions. I'll keep it going then. If you could change one thing about the way you were raised, why would you embarrass your parents like that by saying it on a podcast? <laughs> I wouldn't change anything. They did a great job. There you go. Yeah. Casey? I just answered. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say Miles. <laughs> I meant to say Miles. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I think, why would you embarrass your parents like that by <laughs> saying it on a podcast? <laughs> so, if I could change one thing about the way I was raised. This is so bad. <laughs> we have I to know. be quicker. We have to be quicker. I know. Rapid fire. There's like 40 more that, questions. Whose fault do you think this is? Y'all's. I... Created the list of questions. It's supposed to be rapid fire. I want you to say how you think this was going to go. Good. I thought it would be kind of funny. <laughs> okay, all right. Casey was here when I was let me, finishing let me ask the list this. of questions. Let me ask I was laughing yeah. out loud at the question. Yeah. Let, me, let me produce this a little bit. Okay. All right, so if I'm producing the show, okay. and I'm like, okay, 36 questions. How long do I think, as the producer, this is going to take? <laughs> 36 <laughs> questions, four people talking. Yeah. Let's say uh, it's a minute a question. That's 36 minutes yeah. right there. Right. So you need the more show. than half the episode available. And I would know that going in. Like, mm -hmm. okay, this is going to be 36 minutes minimum, probably closer to 45, especially yeah. if the questions are good. Yeah. And like people are riffing and talking, having a conversation, you know, recording a podcast. No, and that's where we disagree. And that's where we disagree. I didn't want people Closer riffing. Closer to the mic. Sorry, the mic is nowhere near your mouth. I didn't want, expect people to riff and have a good time <laughs> no, yeah. with these questions. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Moving on to 11. Take four minutes and lie... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> eleven is taking. Yeah, that's 
<laughs> Take four full minutes. Don't be shy. <laughs> oh. I didn't think it through. Is that what you want me to say? Obviously. Well, thank you episodes. I have three more we episodes. We knew that. To do on We're just happy that you finally joined us here. If you could wake up tomorrow having gained any quantity of cash, how much would that be? I think that's kind of interesting because you know what? You could, if you have a billion dollars, that you might not be happy. But I think if you had ten million dollars, you might smile. Oh, I'd be overjoyed if I had ten million dollars. So what's the amount? But you want it to not be so much. No, I do want it to be a lot. A billion, yeah. A billion, really? Be a billion, yeah. If I woke up and had a billion dollars, I'd puke. Yeah, you think so? Shards? Or I don't know how puke? anyone else wouldn't. Well, I guess a billion dollars. A billion. That's cash? so much money. It, it's. But I guess what I like about a billion is that you could be like, it's easy to slice it up. You'd be like, yeah. okay, a billion. All right, you know what? Five hundred k. Let me build the coolest town in upstate New York. You keep saying this. You yeah, keep saying I did this. TikTok about TikTok. this. I said, yeah. may, just buy a fucking ghost town. 500 then build a, okay, wouldn't bakery. even buy a house up there. Well, I don't know. I want to buy a ghost town and make it like a fun place to have. Yeah. You keep saying that. Okay, and picture a matcha. 500K yeah. is one two thousandth of a billion. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, it wouldn't buy a town. Yes, That's a my lot. point. Well, it would buy have, one house in the town. But a, bil- a billion dollars is an, is is enough money where you know you can like do the finances and figure out how much money do I need. Yeah, which is like, and then be set. I pay myself a million dollars a year for the next sixty years of my life. Okay, yeah. sixty million. That's put in a little pocket for me. Yeah, you and then beyond yeah. that, all the now rest is fun I just money. have to like <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking sure. yeah. Uh, so you just do like standard billionaire stuff, no, but well, I do charity for. The, <laughs> I do charity for a bunch of it. Buy a town, build fucking wells Go in to space, build well, wells in California. <laughs> Is that the problem? That's not the Is problem. That oil oil wells, right? Oil wells. Oil 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 build an oil, oil reserve. <laughs> the rich get richer. Yeah. Mile style. Exactly. <laughs> All right, moving on to set two. If a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, or anything else, what mundane nonsense would you waste that wish on? A crystal oh, ball? I have a good one for this. I have Let's a good hear one it. for Let's this. Let's hear it. I want to see every photo that I've ever photobombed. Oh, that's Ooh. awesome. <laughs> that's good. That would be really good. Casey? Um, Got it. Miles? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just recovering no? from that. All right. Earbo- earbo- Number 14. Is there something that you've dreamt of doing for a long time? Stop that. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Number 15. What is the greatest accomplishment? So that was just a command. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> that this is a list of demands. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> this is a list of ransom. It's a, it's a list of demands. We're hostages. Yeah. It's all coming together. Jesus. What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? That's it. <laughs> Me. Start with Miles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be, I don't want to be belittled by stating what I think it is. All right, Casey. Um, don't yeah. say the color of the walls in the studio. No, it's, it really not, it's not the color. Of the, oh, look, uh, I I thought. Uh, Brad, we've, we've been killing it. Honestly, we've been killing it here. Yeah. Uh, we just put out, uh, you know, David Cross Absolutely. show with Bob great, Odenkirk. Great work. On the same day that Doughboys put out Andy Samberg. Uh, uh, all these recorded in the HeadGum Studios. Hell yeah. Uh, and then we also did a live uh, stream show uh, all on the same day. So I'm I'm actually really proud of what we're doing here. Me too. Hell yeah. Of you. Sorry to sincerely answer that question uh brad that's it (laughs) (laughs) that's it yeah let's all say it in unison that's That's it it. that's That's it it. uh okay what do you what do you guys value why or sorry this one's directed directly at will why do you value (laughs) friendship that's weird (laughs) friendship makes life worth living all right. This one's yeah. directed just at Thank Brad. Thank you. Thank you. This one's directed just at Brad. What is your most treasured memory? Don't tell us. Just think about it. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, the disappointing thing is the questions have gotten better. I like these questions a lot more than the first. There's, half. there's a lot yeah. more uh, like 
meat on questionnaire the commentary yeah. added to yeah. it. Yeah. I think. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, this when, one's when back I walked to Will. In the studio, when I walked, <laughs> <laughs> when I walked in the studio, Jeff was working on these, and he looked at me and said, "I've just made my magnum opus." <laughs> <laughs> he did say that, and he said the final part of it really ties into your show, and I think you're really gonna like it. And he was really proud of himself. I and was I, sitting here laughing, so that's why it's like well, you guys are like, "What did you think was gonna happen?" I thought this was gonna be kind of fun. What is your most <laughs> terrible memory, Will? And let's all answer that one. Last time I was on the HeadGum Podcast. Fuck, <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, same right? answer for me. Yeah, that might be a unanimous. You guys want to say it in unison? The last time last I was on the HeadGum Podcast. It was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> if you knew that in one year you would die suddenly, would you tell people to elicit sympathy? Yes. No. Immediately. Right. I don't think I would tell a soul. I would keep it to myself yeah. and I would just live every day like it was my last. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. Brad? Speaking of David Cross, there's a really good Mr. Show sketch about this, about like getting sympathy when you're about to die. So I would do it and I would play it off just like that sketch. Nice. Go watch Senses Working Overtime. Yeah. Organic plug. That was really good. Okay, here we go. Why doesn't friendship mean nothing to you? Um, why, why doesn't friendship mean nothing to you? It's a double negative. Yep. But double what, standard is, too. what is he saying? I don't know. It's, it's a, I've, I wonder that a lot on with on. him. <laughs> it, it is honestly kind of a repeat of the question that was just for me. Yeah. It's right? basically what does friendship mean? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Which is the actual question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Magnum opus. <laughs> yeah. What roles do love and affection play in your life? That the, is just the question from the... That's from... Yeah, that's not a Jeff That shin. is the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys don't have immediate answers, we really are approaching a, an hour here, so I'm just Sorry, it takes through. a minute to wrap our heads around Alternate the question. sharing <laughs> something you would consider a bad trait of your partner. Share a total of nine. Share nine <laughs> bad so, traits. Miles, I want you to say nine bad things about Brad. Brad, same thing, reciprocate to Miles. And then Will and Cassie will exchange Casey. as well. <laughs> go, sorry. I don't even know. I don't think I could name nine bad things about anybody. Because I think everyone's a pure soul. Me too. And I think Brad is no different. <laughs> yeah. Me too. All right, here we go. Do you ever feel a sneaking suspicion that other people's families are closer and warmer than yours? Do you feel your childhood was more tragic than most? Is Let's, this th this one's just for Casey. <laughs> 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 uh, I've got a very supportive family. Got it. All right. Uh, how do you feel about your relationship? This is for everybody. How do you feel about your relationship with your pastor? And then in parentheses, it says, if no pastor, end conversation. <laughs> I don't have a pastor. I don't have a pastor either. Don't got one. So that's the end He's of good. the conversation. We're done. That's the end of the conversation. I'm going to list the last 12, but we're not going to answer any of them. This is rapid fire, okay? Just so we can know. <laughs> just so we can know. Well, actually, no, I'm just going to jump ahead to the organic plug of your shit. How does it tie in? <laughs> Fine, I'll say all 12. You have to say you all the 12? Lead into it? Make three vague we statements. For instance, we both in this room are feeling blank. Complete this sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could haggle with in specific regards to having blank. Mm. <laughs> if you were going to become a close friend with your partner, please share what wouldn't be important for them to know. Tell your partner what you're fine with about them of. Be very <laughs> honest this time, saying <laughs> things you might not say to someone you've just met. Share with your partner an embarrassing moment that happened during this podcast. When did you last cry in front of another normal? What about a famous? <laughs> Tell your partner something that you like about them already, but that might change later. Did you cry in front of someone famous? What's that? Did you cry in front of someone famous? Yeah, he heard the question. <laughs> I am curious about that because it does seem like a personal story. I sobbed in front of George Santos just because I really believed him. <laughs> what if anything is too hilarious to be serious about? If you were to die this evening with no opportunity to communicate with anyone, what would you most regret not having told someone? Who cares? This is what I feel like is going on in Jeff's head. <laughs> yeah, he's, just, he's just spinning his wheels so he gets tired and get, at the end of the day he can Your sleep. Your house containing every... <laughs> no, th this one's a really good one. It's like this a dog. One's, this one's a really good like one. Like the dog chasing that yeah. thing that's going around. on a string. Yeah. Speaking of dogs. Yeah. 
Your house, containing everything you own, catches fire. After saving your loved ones and pets, you have time to safely make a final dash to change your mind and put your loved ones and pets back inside. <laughs> would you do that? If I changed my mind? No, I would not do that. But it's nice of you to ask. Of all the people in your family, whose death would you find most financially gainful? Where? <laughs> And finally, share a personal problem and ask your partner's advice on how they might handle it. If their advice sucks, call in to the Perfect Person podcast, hosted by Miles Bonsignore! Yeah, baby! Everybody, everybody. Yeah. Let's get into it! Get started! Get started! Get started! Let's get it started! Let's get it started! Let's get it started! Jesus. Plugs, what do you guys have going on? What do you want to point the people towards? Uh, any parting wisdoms or otherwise? Let's hear, let's start with Brad. Uh, Hill Kings podcast, a King of the Hill rewatch podcast hosted by me and a daddy from Edmond, Oklahoma every week on YouTube. Buy our merch, too. Buy the merch. Will? Plugs? <laughs> Uh, uh, try out ChatGBT. No way. That was a HeadGum original.